everyone, it's Rocky, and I'm back again with another episode of Backstage Pass. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Let's go to the mall. There's my favorite makeup artist in the whole wide world. Hello again, Allison. Hey there, how's it going? I'm doing great. I just dropped by to see if the bookstore had a game I want, but no luck. Oh well, it was a long shot anyway. I knew I should have just gone to GameGo instead. There's a GameGo around here? Totally, it's just across town. I didn't know that. And now you do. <laughs> Life's great, isn't it? Where should I shop today? Ooh, let's go to the movie theater. What should I watch? A funny thing about love, high octane, the Argonauts. Let's do that, sounds fun. Don't be silly. The wind, the sand, the sea. What else could I possibly want? Why, a wife, of course. My sweet darling brings me endless joy, and I wish nothing less than the same happiness for you. Now, Orpheus, you and my father didn't send me on this quest of some ploy to get me married, did you? It's been a while since I sat down and watched an animated film. It was kind of fun. As a bonus, I feel more familiar with other people in the industry now. Uh, sweet. Hey, hey, little wizard. Thanks for agreeing to meet me. So, what's up? Um, so I've got a friend of mine who's a street magician. He's pretty good, but he's just starting out. He recently got funding to produce a video for a new startup, and he came to me for help. Oh, cheers to him. What should I do? Ask Lloyd to assist with production? Ask Lloyd for advice? Ooh. Alright, I had to save on this one, because I don't know if this is going to go bad, but try this! Anyway, I was hoping you could help with production. You want my help? If that's okay, I know you're busy and it's probably asking a lot for you to help out someone new. I'm afraid I don't have time to be on set or anything, but I could call some friends of mine and see what can be done. I would appreciate that. I feel bad now. I like Lloyd. As soon as Lloyd calls cut, I rush in to begin touching up makeup. Selena closes her eyes and waits for me to start my work, but my lungs suddenly feel tight. <gasps> my brush falls from my hand and I feel my knee buckle under my weight. What's going on? Sean? I try to speak, but it's hard to say anything. I turn and race toward the makeup trailer. I slam the door to the trailer shut and curl up on the floor. Why am I having a panic attack right now? Nothing even happened. I count my breaths and will them to slow down, but my body refuses to listen to me. There's a soft knock at the door. Sean? Help. Rachel enters the trailer and stifles a gasp upon seeing me. Oh, Sean. Rachel sits beside me and places a hand on my shoulder. What's wrong? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. I get these panic attacks sometimes. Usually it happens when I'm in a big crowds or surrounded by strangers. I don't know why it happened today. It just did. Rachel rubs my back gently. I'm so sorry, babe. I feel my breathing slow to a more even pace and eventually feel well enough to sit up. I really messed up, didn't I? Everyone's probably furious. Of course not. Everyone's really worried about you. As for putting filming on hold, you're certainly not the worst I've seen. I worked a show last year where the lead actress locked herself in her trailer for half a day because craft services used iceberg lettuce instead of romaine. Oh my god. I snort. <laughs> to be fair, romaine lettuce does taste a lot better. That's my girl. Always knowing how to empathize with other people. Rachel pats my back. Are you feeling a little better? I nod. Yeah, I think I can go back to work. I stand and wobble a little. Rachel immediately catches me. I've got you. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want to take a little longer to rest? I'm, I'm sure. Sometimes a panic attack can last for days, but this one is pretty minor. I think it'll be better for me if I can focus on work instead of myself. Alright then. Let's get going. 
Oof. Oh, nightmares. I wake up to the sound of excited shouts and laughter coming from outside my window. Isn't it the weekend? Who would be up this early? I peer out the window and a small gasp escapes my lips. The parking lot outside the dorms has been transformed into some sort of fair. Brightly colored tents and booths stretch across the dark asphalt and people wander amiably from one booth to the next. I'm still not entirely sure what's going on, but I definitely want a closer look. I quickly get dressed and fling my door open to see Adam standing outside, hand raised to knock. Whoa! Adam! I, I was just about to. Yeah, me too. We stare at each other for a brief moment, then burst into laughter. Great minds think alike, right? Calling either of us a great mind is kind of a stretch, don't you think? Let me have my delusions. Can you have your delusions outside? I want to check it out before it gets too crowded. Right. Ooh. We hurry downstairs and join the crowd. So what exactly is all of this anyway? I scan the printed signs on the booths nearest me. A couple banks, some local eatery, and some small stage for a community theater. Some sort of local business fair? I think they're trying to get the attention of all the students and their wallets. Ha, <laughs> clever. But setting up a pretty tent isn't enough to... Are those guitars? <laughs> Adam races to a booth for a local music shop and picks up the nearest guitar. This is a nice one. What about electric guitars? Not here. But if you stop by our shop, we've got plenty. And we can always put in a special order. Would you be interested in looking at some of these others? Adam eagerly works his way through the guitars like a small child picking out a toy. After a few minutes, he rejoins me. Are you done with the guitars already? For now, yeah. They said I could stop by the shop anytime I want to try out other ones. Lucky you. I know, right? The two of us wander down the next aisle of tents and do our best to avoid the banks coursing us into opening new accounts in exchange for a new MP3 player. Oh, check it out. Adam points at a small row of booths containing carnival games. A man in a plastic top hat calls out to passers-by, enticing people to try and win prizes. We stop in front of one of the booths featuring a row of toy rifles in front of a large target. How much? Five dollars for three shots! Adam hands the man a five dollar bill and looks at me. I'm gonna win that giant stuffed chicken, okay? Anything you say. He takes the gun and aims carefully at the brightly painted bullseye. Bam! A foam dart with a suction cup tip shoots from the gun and breezes past the target. No worries. The first one's just practice, right? Adam furrows his brow in concentration, adjusts his aim, and fires again. Bam! The next dart strikes the edge at the target and bounces off harmlessly. Don't despair. You've got another one to go. The man running the booth offers encouraging words, but I can already see him calculating how much money he's going to make off Adam. Adam? A guy can dream, can't he? Adam lowers the plastic rifle and hands it to me with a grin. Knock him dead, Wahine. Just for that, I'm not going to let you have the chicken. I take that rifle from him and aim carefully. I hold my breath and pull the trigger. Bam! The dart flies from my gun and lands in the center of the circle of the target. It's not dead center, but it doesn't have to be. Nice eye, Missy. Pick your prize. The man running the booth makes a sweeping motion with his arm to display a wide array of stuffed animals and goldfish that I could take home with me. That. I point at a set of matching cupcakes. Excellent choice, if I do say so myself. Enjoy your prize. Aww, no stuffed chicken? You'll be thanking me for this when it's three in the morning and you're craving cupcakes. Adam grins. Why wait? Let's eat them now. Sounds like a plan. I hand Adam one of the cupcakes and inspect the label. Huh, this came from a club on campus. Oh, there's a baking club? Yeah, Professor Meridia brought in some of their cupcakes once. I should probably look them up sometime. 
Bring back more cupcakes when you do. Will do. Mm, okay, let's check our mail here. No new jobs. We're a little tired, but not enough to take a break. Game go? Oh yeah, we could go to Game Go. But we could try inviting John to go to the movies with us. That's what I'm gonna do. Hello. Hi, John. I was wondering if you wanted to go out somewhere today. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Whereabouts did you have in mind? Movie theater! I figured we'd be able to go on dates there. Let's go see a movie. Oh, this outfit looks good. Hey, thanks for coming. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. I used to visit the cinema nearly every weekend. What piques your interest? Uh, funny thing about love, high octane, the Argonauts. Well, let's see the Argonauts again. Because why not? Don't be silly. The wind, the sand, the sea. What else could I possibly want? Why, a wife, of course. My sweet darling brings me endless joy, and I wish nothing less than the same happiness for you. Now, Orpheus, you and my father didn't send me on this quest as some ploy to get me married, did you? <laughs> yes. That was an interesting experience. Did you enjoy it? The story was limited at best, but some of the vocal performances were fascinating. It seemed almost theatrical at points. Is that different from acting on camera? Things like projection, enunciation, and dramatization are different depending on the medium. Oh, I never thought about that before. Learning something new. Okay, so we're a little tired, so let's sleep today. And then we are just gonna work a lot. And, um, uh, do homework, I guess. Starting today, we will begin to cover the authors of the Renaissance. The Renaissance is often considered to be a period of intellectual and creative revival, both of which benefited the area of literature considerably. Would anyone care to name a Renaissance author? Miss Good. Oh no. My chest tightens as the rest of the class trades glances. Why did he name me? Thankfully, most of my classmates don't appear to know who I am. I'd taken a breath to steady myself as I mentally review my somewhat limited renaissance knowledge. I'm drawing a bit of a blank. What should I do? Play it safe? Guess something I'm not sure of. Play it safe. William Shakespeare? Yes. Shakespeare is, in fact, one of the most famous writers of the period, despite the lack of existing information regarding his personal life. We will be spending several days next week discussing his plays. Good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.